Daniel, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How does it feel to join the club? It feels really great. Uh, and I've met some great people here. Um, and I just can't wait to meet everyone. And I know a couple of the lads and stuff, so it's really good seeing them. And you know, I just can't wait to get started here, a new home, new environment, so it's really good. And what was it about AFC Bournemouth that sort of attracted you to the club? Well, I knew, I knew this place, number one, the environment is really good. I know the people here, uh, really good morals, good values, good traits that I really like about them. And that's, it shows me and I could see myself playing here because I like working with good people. So it's really good. And I just knew what you guys were about. I did my own research myself. So that's why I picked here. Now, first things first, tell us how your summer's been. I believe you've been doing some, some pre-season training away yeah. from here. I mean, I had uh, my holiday, some chill time for a bit. Every player needs it. And then I went to Portugal for two weeks. That was really good. I trained with um, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Harry Wilson, who was once here. So it was good to find that idea. I asked them some questions about this place. And I was working with Tom King. He's our fitness coach. So I was just there for two weeks, just training, getting my legs back and stuff. And then it was kind of a quick process because when I landed here, you know, I went straight here, really. So it was good for me. It's almost like I wasn't relaxing. I just went from training straight to more training here. So it was really good. Good season. This must be the perfect time to join a club right at the start of pre-season. A full programme ahead of you. You must be itching to get going. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. I mean, I prepared myself for this moment, this whole uh, summer that I've been off. So it's, it's really good that I'm here from day one and I um, have a plan, set goals for myself to reach and uh, to get going. And tell us a little bit about your new teammates. I believe you've played with Alex Scott at England youth level and, yeah. and there's a couple of others that you know. Yeah, so I played with Alex Scott since young England age. A uh, really good player, you know. I, I really like him, he's a good guy, you know, he has good vision, so I could really see myself playing with him one day here, and uh, I look forward to it, so, I mean, and then it was funny because I seen Solanke and, like, loads of the guys uh, in the Portugal uh, where I was training, so it was just funny seeing them, and then when I seen them here, it was like a big smile, like, oh, I just seen you and stuff in Portugal, so it was good, but, yeah, Alex Scott, that's who I played with. Talking of Dominic Slanky, mm -hmm. I hear you're a big anime fan. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, when I seen him doing his anime celebrations and stuff, like, I was loving it. I was, like, all for it. It was really good. And um, so we could have a good combo about that. And, like, he's a good, he's someone who I can look up to, good role model here, uh, good striker, so I could learn from him. So it's going to be really good, yeah. Now, the pre-season trip to LA is just around the corner. Again, it's going to be a great opportunity for you to bond with your new teammates and learn Andonia Raiola's style. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait. I think um, it's real good opportunities for not only me, but everyone there to show their talent. You know, really work hard. It's pre-season for a thing, so you'll get your opportunity. And I just can't wait to help the team and do any, everything I can, you know, to get the boys going for the new season ahead of us. Um, I just, I, I, I'm going to come here and what you're going to see is just me doing everything I can to help the team and just work my hardest. That's all any player can do. That's the given. Now for those supporters that may or may not have seen you play before, can you describe the type of player that you are? Um, I'm the type of player who's just going to not give up really, I'd say, who has real passion, who's going to keep running. I might miss a chance, but I won't get frustrated. I know I'll get my next one, and I'm all put the next one away. Uh, I say a leader as well, you know. I'm always encouraged. So you'll just see a good person as well, good person. It's a really exciting place to be at the moment. We had a record-breaking season last year. We've got a new training ground on the horizon. They must have been big factors in, in the move. Yeah, like, I was really impressed of what the club's doing as well. Like. My decision coming here was based off many things, of course, and like the way you guys are heading is in a good place, in a good direction, and that's what I really like to see. And uh, I'm all for it. I love it. Now, you're only 20 years of age. What are your hopes and ambitions for the future at this club? Um, hopes and ambitions, I would just say to every year I improve. 
every year I can help the team a bit more, contribute a bit more, whether it's being a good person, whether it's scoring more goals, assisting, just always improve every year. And you know what happens if you keep improving every year, you grow as a person and you just get better naturally by just playing games. So I'll just say, just keep leveling up, leveling up. Well, Daniel, thank you for your time and welcome to AFC Bournemouth. Thank you. Thank you.